welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Our cameras caught the Clippers arriving at their building and coming through the tunnel with a lot of style and confidence. The bronze likeness of Lakers great Magic Johnson that can be found just outside the front door of our location today, the Staples Center. Get ready, everyone, for Tuesday afternoon NBA action on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan, and we've got Steve Smith and Greg Anthony at the table with me. GA, it's all yours. Good evening, Kevin. Well, last season, Paul George had a homecoming. He said, as a kid, I pictured playing in L.A., my parents being able to watch me at Staples. I'm not playing for the Clippers. This is home. I'm playing for the home team. It doesn't get any better than that. And Kevin, his family is backing him up. They show up to every game here. What a story. David, thank you. So the opening lineup for the Sun. Booker and Bridges are the wings. Jay Crowder out there with DeAndre Ayton. And it's Paul in at the point guard position. And for the Clippers, they've got Paul George. Marcus Morris is out there with Kawhi Leonard. Then there's Batum, and it's Jackson in at the point. We have an awesome backcourt battle tonight, Steve. Let me ask, are we in a guard-centric league right now? We are, Kevin. I mean, we've always had great guards, and they lead you through championships with their leadership and their play along with the big guy. But what's happening right now, Kevin, the big man is playing like a guard. The skill level of these seven-footers to be able to shoot threes, dribble, pass. So it does seem like a guard-centric league right now because everybody can play that position. No good from Booker. I'll tell you what, I think he thought that was going in. I sure did. Nice passing here by Los Angeles. George, no good. George against Bridges. Ball outside. Booker against Batum. Offensive rebound. A nice shot by Booker. Against Booker, a little contact usually doesn't go a long way. Strong body control there. Here's Morris. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rack. And, and where's the help defensively? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. No good from Booker. Meeting right at the rim. He typically converts in those situations. Not this time. In OKC, Paul George showed he could be an MVP caliber performer. With Kawhi on the Clippers, he could be that 1B or that 1A. And PG, you know, he has the versatility to succeed in different roles. Doesn't have to dominate the ball. Yes, and if anything, he's more comfortable scoring within the Shoot flow two. of the offense. With his all-around impact, doesn't need to force things to make winning plays. But if you need him to, he can. The first free throw is good. The rare guy who can do everything at both ends. Paul George gives you a chance to win every night. And both free throws, good for Paul George. The homecoming for Paul George, playing in L.A. with the Clippers. They gave up a King's ransom to OKC. Five first-round picks and Danilo Gallinari and Shea Gilchrist Alexander. Morris trying to free himself up, and Jackson with the basket on the assist by Leonard. Hard to keep up with Reggie when he gets out in space. And on top of that, an excellent finisher. Pass to Bridges. Plenty of space. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. And guys, the Clippers were willing to give almost anything for PG because they basically got Kawhi Leonard in the deal as well. And let's remember, GA, he could have been a Laker. They would have had to trade away the second pick in the 2017 draft. That or Brandon Ingram. Their loss became the Clippers game. Crowder inside, defended by George. Booker the pass to Paul. 
just five on the clock. Sweet little floater. Chris Paul has such a gentle touch on his floaters. There's no way the defense can get to that shot. Booker against George. Good on the shot. Terrific play. This is why you run your offense through him and live with the results. Paul kicks to Bridges. Paul against Jackson. Here's Paul. Over Jackson. That one wide left. And it's Batum with the ball. Bringing it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. They get it back. Here's Morris. Good. Nice job down low. Morris has got his second basket of the game. Yeah, and you'd like to see more of this from Marcus. Attack that offensive glass and generate some points outside of those set plays. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It's often a tough call that can go either way, but I agree with you on that one. The pass to Batum. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. And that one's good, George. George has got six. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Here's Aiton. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's on Nicholas Batum. An absolute beast inside. Love how Aiton uses his size to draw these fouls. Phoenix shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. And one of the highlights last year for this group was the fact that they were so efficient from the charity strike. That's a huge factor. And the first one drops. And you just have to be enticed by the skill set of Aiden. A seven-foot-one behemoth who plays with a lot of physicality and skill on both ends. Good on the second, so he makes them both. Clippers leading by four. Hunter on the wing. Inside, Morris. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. He has six. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Jackson against Paul. Near the three-point line, it's Booker. And the shot falls short this time. George, that's a two-pointer. The Clippers rebound. Jackson has the open look. And the three off target. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Crowder with it. Leonard picks him up. Here's Paul. Softly drops in the floater. And the thing about Paul, despite his listed size, he's comfortable operating inside. George passes to Leonard. Steps back and shoots. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. I like it. That's a great battle at the rim. He just couldn't finish. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. This is his first free throw of the game. A year ago, he had an 84% success rate on his foul shots, so he was a guy they were always happy to see at the line. First one falls for him. He hits both from the strike. L.A. has gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Passes it to Batum. Back to Jackson. 
outside George shot clock at five Morris passes to George and the Clippers miss again not sure what what the D was doing there clearly a breakdown you can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look tries again Phoenix no good that time either for Los Angeles, they've gone 6 of 13 from the field, just under the 50% mark. A shot by Batum, no good. The Suns trailing. Pass to Bridges. On the wing, Booker. Paul outside. To the middle. Here's Ayton. Trying to get open is Crowder. Second chance shot. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. Just such strength on these finishes. When you foul Aiden, you really have to hit him to prevent the basket. The Suns shooting their fifth attempt at the line in the game. Los Angeles making a switch here. Zubats is checked in. One falls and that puts him up by one point. The importance of the three-point shot never greater than right now. And in your eyes, there are some players who are just absolutely dead, solid, perfect from distance. No doubt about it. And, and you know, there's three guys to me though that kind of separate themselves. Uh, and it's one because you have to honor their ability equally off the dribble from three and at attacking the paint. Steph Curry, James Harden, and Damian Lillard. Those three guys can all hit pull-ups and step backs from range off the dribble. Uh, they all got great vision, you know, so they can take advantage of defenses that get caught loading a little too much. And then they also are terrific at the, in the paint at getting to the free throw line. So those are the three guys I think that create the most havoc uh, when you start, start talking about having to guard the three-point line. Booker looking around. Pass to Aiton. Mighty that time from Leonard. And so it's Jackson who brings it up for Los Angeles. The rejection by Paul. And I'll tell you, Chris Paul is sneaky this way. He has great timing. Here's Morris. Doesn't go for him. Good work defensively by Crowder. Bridges against Morris. Bridges dishes to Crowder. Jackson against Paul. Kicks to Bridges. Aiton in the high post. Shoots over Leonard. And it's Aiton missing. And all quarter long, it's been the same story. Inconsistent with this offense. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And, and Smitty, with LeBron getting into his late 30s, KD coming off the Achilles. For your money, is Kawhi Leonard the best player in the world? Great question. I know one player, the Greek freak, might have something to say about that. No less than Michael Jordan himself called Kawhi oh, the best two-way player break. in the game. Two shots. That's a very strong endorsement from MJ. That free throw good from Leonard. And guys, even though he's in a big market, Kawhi Leonard still not one for the spotlight. <laughs> that is so true. It's not about the fame for him. He's in L.A., but Kawhi Leonard stays in his bubble. All the trappings that come with being a great player, he's truly focused on the love of the game, winning and being the best possible player he can be. All three throws good from Kawhi Leonard. Probably as close to a sure thing as you can have at the free throw line. To the inside. And the pass to Bridges. Tipped away. Leonard with the steal. A three ball. Connects from three-point range. Leonard's got nine points. Dating all the way back to college, this is one of Kawhi's pet moves. The sudden pull-up jumper. On the wing, Booker. Defended by George. 
Hooker the pass to Sharich. Connects on the 17-footer. That's the pass you want. Orchestrating the offense, creating for others. Leonard looking over the floor. Shoots over Bridges. Leonard no luck. Well, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated from an offensive standpoint. Paul passes to Sharich, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And the toughness Sarich provides is an important component. A physical, strong forward who does whatever is asked of him. For Phoenix, they haven't yet missed a free throw. Five for five. That one falls from Sharich. Sharich nails them both. When your bigs can make free throws, it's a huge advantage. Love his approach to getting to the line. Passes to Jackson. Oh, Leonard in position. Crowder with the steal. Charge up top, guarded by Jackson. The score now all even. Booker's got his second basket. Not just an outside shooter. Booker is also skilled at getting it done from that area as well. George against Booker. Jackson from long range. Bridges with the board. Bridges has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Charge has the open look. But Suns keeping it alive. A new 14. Out of bounds. The Clippers take possession. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. And he's all over that shot. Has it read the whole way and gets the position he needs to make a play. Los Angeles is gone. Just one of four from three-point range here in the first. Jackson looking it over. Here's the teardrop, and it's good on the way in. If you play Reggie to take it all the way, this is what he can do. Quick floater over the top. Ball passes to Crowder. Leonard against Bridges. Booker outside. Booker draws the double. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Morris. Leonard with the steal. One nineteen left in the first. Knocked loose. Moves back up. Got a piece of it. And you can't be careless around Sarge. When he's on you, he is looking to send that one back. Fast break. Here come the Suns. That's good from Booker on the assist from Bridges. Booker's got it all tied up now for Phoenix. And so George will bring it up for Los Angeles. George double team and the ball's tied up so we'll have a jump ball. And here is Los Angeles now. Morris against Sharich. Morris with the bucket. Morris has gone four for five from the floor tonight. Just one miss. Paul kicks to Booker. Over George. No good from Booker. 
Hard to create space in that mid-range area. He would have been better passing that off. Jackson. Charge grabs the board. The Suns trailing. Bridges finds Booker. The three. And no good. Kawhi Leonard has been on display for the L.A. Clippers. For moments during that quarter, it felt like a one-man wrecking crew. It seemed he was doing everything out there. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. Well, recently, Chris Paul talked about adding some levity to the game. It sounds so generic to say we have fun, but, like, we may lose a game here or there, but, you know, everybody's still, you know, happy for each other. You know, we're just trying to build. Yeah, from what we've uh, seen, Greg, these guys naturally get along. And you add in the guiding hand of Chris Paul. Uh, this team can beat anyone on any night because they're so connected. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even so far in the scoreboard. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Clippers? I mean, offensively, I thought they did a good job of protecting the ball. And defensively, boy, were they disrupted. Winning the turnover battle here early on, and you see that reflected in the score. On the court right now, second quarter starting for the Suns. Booker and Bridges are the wings. Dario Saric is out there with Johnson. And it's Paul in at the one spot. And the Clippers making a change here. Mann's checked in. And that one falls for Johnson. Ray, can you really compare players from completely different eras? I mean, people love to talk about the greatest of all time. You know, Kev, some players do transcend eras. But there's no doubt about that. Wilt's a great example, and there are many others. But, but in reality, to your point, the style and the way in which the game was played was so different uh, that it isn't fair. I mean, all you can be is the best of your generation or one of the best, and I, I think that should stand no matter what the conversation is. Like, there's no doubt in your mind Oscar Robertson could play in this era as well as he played when he played. No doubt. Bill Russell, all those guys, yes, truly yes. great ones. So much of your ability to perform at a high level is built around your confidence and your belief in your abilities. And those guys had it as much as anybody who's ever played the game. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. Nicholas Batum, he's checked in for the Clippers. And that drops, so they now lead by one. The Clippers shooting not great, 40% for the game. in the second quarter with uh, a little over a minute gone. And that one's good. Leonard. Beautiful stroke. A direct result of all the hard work Leonard's put in. Pass to Paul. Booker inside. Defended by George. And the dunk by Booker. Go into the rack with energy. And the D afraid to cut him off. Yeah, got to chalk that one up to some shaky defending. In a close game like this, everything has to be challenged. And everything has to be earned. Here's Booker. Add another make to his scoring column. His fifth basket of the game. Now shooting 5 of 11. And this coaching staff in love with Booker's ability to create his own shot. It's a part of his game that's come a long way. Quarter number two, we're about two minutes in. 
Charge passes to Book. That's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. And the turnovers are what stand out. Uh, I know they're leading, but it's going to catch up to them if they keep wasting possession. Rondo looking around. Pass to man. Back to Rondo. Three pointer. And that one is off. The Suns go the other way with it. Charge outside. Shoots over Leonard. The shot by Charge. No good. Decent look for mid range, but there may have been a better option for them in that set. Here's Mann. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Oh, check out the handles. Their nasty spin move had his man grabbing for air. Ball's knocked loose. Leonard with the steal. And now the Clippers on the break. Leonard with the ball. Count it. Good. Leonard's got 16. A beast on the dribble drive. You see Kawhi right there undeterred by contact. And it's Paul penetrating. Makes it off the glass. Paul's got the game tied up here for the Suns. Special. There just aren't many guys like him who can accelerate to the rim and finish in style. Paul against Rondo. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Chris Paul picks up that one. Rondo is so tricky. Consistently looking to take advantage of the defense being too physical with him. Los Angeles shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. You know, Rondo takes great pleasure at slicing and dicing up the defense. One of the best passers in the game. So for the Suns, Aiton comes in for Sharich, and Cameron Payne subbed in for Paul. And Rondo drops them both. Here's Payne. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played, we're three. Booker, good on the three-point shot. He's got 13. And really, Booker is as lethal as they come from deep. Can't allow him to get into a groove. Here's Leonard Batum trying to break loose. Some solid defense from Johnson. And so it's Payne with it. He'll bring it up for the Suns. A nice shot by Booker. It just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. Clippers trail by four. Rondo with it. That's in for the first basket of the game after three attempts. Really admire the fact that Rondo is not afraid to go down there in the paint from time to time. Now here's Payne, defended by George. To the paint, and Aiton throws it down. And the impressive reach of a lob it up his way, and he'll take care of the rest. Rondo passes to Batum. Here's Mann. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. Mann's got four points this quarter. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. The time Payne. is 1 no o'clock p.m. Here's Booker. Rebound, Kawhi Leonard. For Los Angeles, they've gone 6 of 10 from the floor here in the second quarter. Rondo against Johnson. Here's Leonard. And it's Aiton with the rebound. Aiton's got six rebounds now in the game. And there's Bridges on the assist from Payne. Payne's got four assists in the game. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been off. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul. Shot misses. He'll be shooting two. Power move from PG-13. He's added a lot of muscle to his frame over the years. 
putting it to good use right there. Los Angeles shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Throw good, Paul George. They've hit every one of their free throws here in the second quarter. Very important when you're trailing. And George drops them both. The Suns leading. Booker outside. Good ball movement here by the Suns. Bounce pass from Bridges. Here's Payne. Carries it down low. Payne's got his first points of the game. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Outside Rondo. That shot is off. Some solid defense from Aiton. Uh, more good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. They are just killing them on the interior. Down low, here's George, and George with the stuff. Obviously, Rondo's main priority is to dish the rock. When you're open, he'll get it to you. Payne dishes to Aiton. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's on Rajon Rondo. For Phoenix, they haven't made a mistake at the line yet. 10 of 10. throw drops for Aiton and they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter and so he's able to get one of two Clippers trail by five George and the rejection by Aiton. And using that wide reach to reject shots. Aiton can't afford to throw up weak stuff around the big fella. And so it looks like the Suns will retain possession here. Edgy Jackson's checked in for Rajon Rondo. Jackson comes over with the double. Bridges kicks to Aiton. Booker the pass to Bridges, and it's slammed in by Bridges. Sweet find there by Booker. All eyes on him with the ball, and Devin understands that. That has a nice feel for giving up the rock. The pass to Batum. To the paint, here's Leonard. Another shot, Batum trying to break loose. And with that, the Phoenix lead is cut down now to just five on the bucket from Leonard. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art, and that's the result you'll get. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little better. Also, if you can't get stops at this point, it really doesn't matter what you do at the offensive end. And at his peak, Reggie Jackson is one of the better guards in the league. He's he still got that confidence. Yes, he does. Injury slowed him down, but still able to create his shot anytime he wants. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Oh. 
and he knocks down the first one. And with Reggie Jackson, it's a testament to his natural talent that he often leaves us wanting a little bit more. Marcus Morris has checked in for the Clippers. And the Suns also making a change. Crowder, he's checked in for Johnson. And so he hits both. And here's Payne. Passes it to Ayton. And there's Payne. That's good on the assist by Ayton. Payne's got the lead up to seven now for the Suns. And here's George. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. Over Booker. And the Clippers miss again. Phoenix has gotten both of their three-point attempts to go down here in the second quarter. And it's sent back by George. The offensive rebound. Just couldn't take the lid off. They had their chances, but came up empty. Outside Leonard. Over Booker. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Ayton's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Booker outside. Inside. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And now a nine-point Suns lead. And they're beginning to just flat-out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. To the middle. Here's Leonard. It's hauled in by the Suns. Crowder's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. A nice shot by Booker. And because of that high basketball IQ he possesses, Booker takes great shots, and he knows the value of the mid-range game. Outside Jackson. Once he gets the ball there, you expect him to capitalize. That was a missed opportunity. Booker the pass to Ayton. Good. A nice assist from Booker. Ayton's got nine points in the quarter. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Poked away. Outside Leonard. To end the run. And he sinks the layup. Leonard's got 20 points. And really, the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring him back. Payne finds Booker. And here is Ayton. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Jackson. And he jumped out to that ball immediately. Great reaction on that deflection. A little bit late there, but you tried to get into your opponent's head. Forced them to go somewhere else with the ball, and he did that. Kennard, he's checked in for George. And Phoenix also making a switch. Charge is checked in. To the inside, here's Crowder. He gets hauled in by Los Angeles. Here's Jackson. There it is, his third basket. He's taken seven shots to get those three. That is a powerful point guard right there. Reggie converting against very tight defense. Here's Booker. Charge inside. Defended by Batum. Four on three break. Nobody near Leonard. Sinks the three-pointer. He's got 23. Off the catch. Leonard with the quick trigger. Nothing but money. Here's Payne. And Jarich kicks to Payne. Booker outside. He feeds it to Crump. It's stolen by Morris. And pushing it up. Here's Los Angeles. Leonard with the bucket. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? Suns leading by four. Here's Payne. Outside Crowder. Four on the shot clock. Back to Payne. Launches a three. That shot off. T that time from Leonard. Guys, we've seen some excellent offensive output. Yeah, great momentum for them offensively. Here's Booker. And the shot is good. 
That's now 22 points for Devin Booker. This is a guy who once scored 70 points in a game. Booker doesn't take much for him to start percolating. Good on. Good work defensively by Crowder. Oh, he got it to go! It. Wow. I can't believe it! OMG, that's how you silence a crowd. And so it's the Phoenix Suns in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. They're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. And don't go away. We'll be right back. The 2K Sports Halftime Show.